Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and while last time we talked about Mega Bloks, today we're going to be talking about something a little darker. Oh yes, as you can probably imagine, there is quite the massive black market around making counterfeit, knockoff, and bootleg Lego bricks. There are a multitude of companies that make suspiciously similar counterparts that can be as much as half the price of a Lego set to try to entice you to buy them. Who can forget such classics as Ninjag and Chimo? Wait, Chimo? Isn't that what you use to fight cancer? But don't be tempted by the low prices. These companies are out to make a buck, not a quality product and not a safe product. A lot of these sets are frankly inferior to the high quality Lego bricks we're used to, and a lot of them can actually be sourced from unsafe materials like medical waste and bleh. But today I'm going to be showing off what is actually a pretty interesting case. These sets are by a company called Enlighten. Hey look at their logo, it's a red box with white text, eh, nothing suspicious about that. But anyway, Enlighten kind of got their start making sets like these, which are kind of obviously inspired by common Lego sets. But at the tail end of last year, they came out with something called Legendary Pirates that changes their image altogether. What Legendary Pirates is, is it's a set that's obviously inspired by the likes of Ninjago and Shima, with the brightly colored, interesting looking characters, and these elaborate sets that have these beautiful box arts on them. However, what really sets these apart from Ninjago is that they are actually really creative, unique sets. I don't think I've seen anything like these sets before. I mean, except maybe for the pirate ship, but even it has a whole lot of unique features. They have all these really bright, vibrant colors and all this excellent and clever construction. And just look at this turtle ship. It is incredible. The bricks are pretty high quality. They have very, very vibrant color. They look a whole lot better than a lot of the common Lego imitation brands that you might find it like Big Lots or Family Dollar, like Best Lock. More like Worst Croc, am I right? Now, an important disclaimer is that I can't really confirm the safety of these sets. While Enlighten does claim that their sets meet up with standard European and American safety practices, I can't actually confirm that, and we know that some Chinese companies have had some rather seedy reputations in the back. That, and every time one of these have come to me in the mail, I may have gotten a headache whenever I open up the package and the lovely Shanghai Air comes wafting out. But if this catalog is anything to go by, then Legendary Pirates is an incredible story where Leon S. Kennedy teams up with Merlin to take on the evil Lord Hades and his night elf daughter, I guess? I mean, you gotta admit, you'd watch a show about that, or at least maybe a straight-to-video movie. There's pirate ships and skeletons and alligators and a guy who lassoes sharks. It just looks incredible. Charm, so you're asking, Kodak, that sounds awesome slash possibly dangerous, but how are the sets? Well, maybe not 100% perfect. They're not quite Lego quality. I'd probably align them more as Mega Bloks quality, so their ability to stay together maybe isn't the best, and some of the design, like a little bit on the pirate ship here, is a little bit faulty. Not to say they're bad designs, though, particularly the Turtle Ship and the Magic Hut. These designs are just inspired. They are incredible. They're not an obvious deviation from something else. They're, they're just, they just have their own amazing charm to them. These sets have so many interesting features to them. Like, they've got, like, the actual rigged sails. They've got the crow's nest. The Turtle Ship has the mouth and this incredibly good-looking walking action. Oh, yeah. Just look at that. Even Merlin's house has a bunch of interesting features. It's got a folding open gimmick, it's got these books, it's got the windows, it's got a death ray! Wait, why does Merlin's house have a death ray? So yeah, while the pirate ship over here might not look as incredibly unique compared to the turtle ship and the wizard hut, it does at least have one thing going for it, and that's that its name is The Predator. Yeah, isn't that like the perfect name for a pirate ship? And the minifigures, too. I mean, you've taken a look at these pictures on the front, but no, they actually live up to the hype. These minifigures, the detail on them, the way they have a whole bunch of unique molded parts to them, particularly the hair and Merlin's beard and stuff like that, that is kind of what I think pushes it out of what is obvious, you know, Lego copy and into the realm of something, you know, in more of a gray area, because they didn't just build things out of Lego bricks, they actually bothered to design some of their own, which is actually a pretty expensive process. I mean, like, a new Lego brick costs, like, a quarter of a million dollars to develop sometimes. However, like I said before, they are built with less than Lego quality bricks. They're a bit more like 
Mega Bloks or Creo, and unfortunately that means maybe they're not the strongest bricks to put together. The Predator here I even had to stabilize with some Lego minifigure stands because it's really the only way to widen the base because of how the base is made in the first place. So yeah, these sets are a bit more for displayability than playability, with the possible exception of the turtle boat over here. But at the same time, you know, that's kind of what big model ships are for, so really there's no harm done. But in the end, this is Enlighten's attempt to go legit from making questionable black market sets, and frankly, I applaud it. You know, any time a corporation can try to come up with something this unique and original, not to mention fantastic looking, is really something worth noting, and that's why I have them on the show today, along with the fact that they're also really cheap right now and that might outlast. If you really want these, you better hurry. But, um, yeah, they're really worth looking at. There might be a chance I might be able to see some at New York Toy Fair, but until then, we'll just have to find out. Until next time, this is Kodak signing off. Happy New Year!